So I just wanted to tell you a quick funny story, but at the end of it, you're going to figure out what liniment I used. Like it's not miracle cream. It's not some miracle pill, but the difference was between not being able to walk and walking. So stay tuned. Trying this, you know, I had gotten to the point where I literally was like, what is the worst that could happen? What? I, I die from horse liniment. Like <laughs> yeah, bring it on. Hey everybody. So I'm here with Fuego. He's just grazing. Um, but I just wanted to tell you a quick story. And at the end of it, you know, if you are suffering from any pain, uh, sore spots, um, you know, any sort of discomfort, if somebody in your, in your life is suffering from discomfort, you know, I, I would highly recommend you tell them this story and get them this stuff. So, um, essentially, uh, he had just finished his, his conditioning day and, um, you know, conditioning on horses is hard. It's like anybody's conditioning day. I mean, when you go to the gym, you're sore the next day, right? I mean, either that or you're really not doing it right. <laughs> like you're not working hard enough if you're not sore, um, or at least sore every once in a while. Um, but at the time I was not able to walk because I had just fallen off and, um, <laughs> basically I, um, so I was injured and he, you know, so I'm like limping about like trying to get th this, this liniment on him so that he feels better and all this stuff, you know, it's always about the horse, like all my horse ladies out there, you know what I'm talking about. It's always about them. <laughs> and, um, basically I was just limping in the dark, miserable and I am, am walking back to my truck and I look down at the stuff I had just put on the horse and I was so miserable and, and to the edge that I was just like, you know what, Shit. if it's good enough for the horse, then it's good enough for me. Like, honestly, I'd gotten to, I had gotten to the point where I didn't even care anymore. <laughs> like how bad could it really be? And, um, so what I did was I went home and I actually put it on both my feet, feet that night. One, one of my feet, I was suffering from the injury, um, from the video you saw when I fell off and the other foot, I tore my Achilles and it, it was about at that time, like maybe like 80% healed. So it was still prevalent, but obviously not as bad as the, the foot I had to start limping on. Um, but anyway, so I put it on my feet and I went to sleep and, um, I woke up the next day and the, the night before I, I had limped to bed. I had not, I wasn't able to put all my weight on my right foot and I'm not even kidding you. I woke up the next morning and like deliriously kind of walked to go to the bathroom. Um, you know, it's just kind of like routine, right? In the morning. <laughs> and, um, basically I got up and walked to the bathroom and, by the time I got to the toilet, I had realized that I not only did I not limp, but that the pain that I had been feeling was like vastly, vastly better. Like the, the actual pain was, I don't want to say subsided because like I said, it's not a magic pill. This isn't just like, you know, take this pill and lose 30 pounds or rub this cream on and, you know, you'll be beautiful. It, it, it this is definitely not that. However, um, I was a gymnast for a long time. And so as a gymnast and an athlete, you end up just healing a lot of injuries. You end up rehabbing a lot of stuff. And in addition to that, you do multiple different types of rehab because every single doctor you go to is going to give you their rehab plan. So I have heard them all, <laughs> whether it's icing, whether it's heat, whether it's a rotation of ice and heat, whether, you know, you, they believe in, you know, ban like, you, like uh, casts or you know sort of um, like like ace bandages in the sense of like a, any sort of brace um, you know I have literally heard it all and um, so when it came to trying this you know I had gotten to the point where I literally was like what is the worst that could happen what I I die from horse liniment like <laughs> yeah, bring it on and um, basically what happened was I had never felt like in all my years of rehabbing all the different types of injuries to muscles and, and, uh, tendons and, you know, all the different things. Um, I have never felt that much improvement in that short of a time. I mean, like when you ice, it freezes it. And then after it thaws, you know, maybe, maybe it feels better for like, I don't know, like 
20 minutes in the sense of like you haven't put any weight on it in a while and you're it's freshly it's just freshly frozen so you know how bad could it really feel right um unless you're in like a serious amount of pain in which case like I know you need this (laughs) but um my point is that I had never actually felt that much improvement in that short of a time and that to me was the true miracle behind all of this was that you actually actually I actually felt I could walk (laughs) like I actually it was very very obvious how it had helped and um like I said you know I still had some rehab to do because um even though what it had healed in the sense of being able to walk it hadn't necessarily healed on the inside yet it had just healed whatever was keeping me from putting weight on it you know obviously I'm a doctor so that was like super doctor speak (laughs) but um here is my point I um will 100% forever be behind corona liniment and I will be using it on me and my horses and anybody that asks me because of the story I just told you because the night I went to sleep with with it on I couldn't walk and I woke up the next day and I could literally walk it was you know without it sounding like you know I was a 90 year old that got up out of my chair and hadn't walked in five years like honestly it was that type of moment you know except for the fact that (laughs) I'm definitely not that extreme it was just that I had you know you already saw what happened to me fell off couldn't walk because of course I have to land on my feet so um couldn't walk and the next day I could so take it or leave it but that is exactly what happened and um if you want to try corona liniment i highly recommend it Um, i'm sure you can get it on amazon and whatnot um given that nobody wants to go shopping nowadays (laughs) dilly but um i also the best price i've ever seen it for uh is at tractor supply and that's for like 9.99 so honestly it doesn't even have to be an expensive solution um so what do you really have to lose (laughs) um i'll put a link below for you guys though Till next time.